Hi, it's Angel Shaver, State of an Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And I'm sorry I'm running late today. Things are still a little crazy around here. But we are going to get to this uh, very first class using the Waterfront Stamp Set. And we are doing a design created by Davina Lepke today. And so we will be putting this together in a minute. But I also just wanted to let you know that if um, you're watching this probably on my Facebook page, possibly on YouTube, you're watching the recording later, or on my blog, if you go to my Facebook page, Angel Stamps, there is ongoing right now an online launch party for the new annual catalog. And I will be popping in there live today until 8 p.m. There's a scavenger hunt going on. Uh, that's where you can find out about my paper share and my new loyalty punch card. And I will be on live until 8 p.m. The party officially closes at 8 p.m., but the event will still be available until Sunday, and the host code is still good. You can leave comments, ask questions, and first thing Monday morning, I will get back to you. And I will be closing the party Monday morning. So I just wanted to let you know that. And that I will be re releasing information about upcoming clubs and classes and all kinds of fun stuff that will be happening this coming up soon with um. I like to launch my new events in when I we launched the new catalog. And that's what's happening right now. So you're getting to find out all kinds of new things. So let's get busy getting the card made. Let me flip you down. I'm not sure the best way. For you to see what's happening here. <clears throat> First of all, we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I have cut this hot dog style, which is four and a quarter by eleven. And we're going to go ahead and take the bone folder and fold it in half, and get a nice crisp fold. I'm going to use the smoother side. This is the one that's been chewed up by my dog. So now I'll set that aside because we are going to build the scenery on the front. I did cut a basic black square for my four that we will be putting on the card as well as a piece a whisper white square that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters and this is the one that we will be building the scenery the landscape scene on and i'm not entirely sure which colors i'm going to use but i have laid out several different blues and greens Gonna start with the trees. I'm thinking I'm going to go with old olive. Just ink up your trees, and then we will be doing some stamp off as we stamp them on here to get a variety of color. Looks like some dimension. One more, I think. 
with my green, my old olive. Close that up, and I am using the Simply Chamois again today to clean off my stamps. It never ceases to amaze me how quickly that goes. And then I will be using some of the Memento Tuxedo Black Memento ink to just make another layer of trees down towards the bottom. And as you can see, I'm doing some stamp off. I mean, I'm stamping off the page because I really want a lot of trees creating this whole layer. And you can go through there. And I and use a blender pen or an aqua painter or really anything to um, smudge the color. But I'm just stamping over and over and over. All right. This aside for now until we use it for the sentiment. Okay. And now I'm going to take the mountains and I'm trying to decide which blue I want to use. I'm thinking maybe we'll do some Night of Navy. I don't really want it as dark. Well, maybe I do want it as dark as a full strength a night of navy would be. And then we're going to do some stamp off to continue the mountain in the background. And then we're going to get a sponge dauber and use the sponge dauber to get some of the sky. I don't really want to leave little circles. So that's why I'm swirling. I'm taking this guy down into the trees so that we just get some color down there as well. Then I'm going to add some color to the edges by just flicking it along the edges. I'm going 
need to add just a little, clean off my sponge dauber, which I've been using the Night of Navy with. And then I'm going to add just a little of the smoky slate to give it a little bit of depth and texture and dimension. Adding a little bit of cloud and texture. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the smoky slate down at the bottom in the dark trees. Kind of looks like a storm is brewing. And then the final piece of the landscape scene is to add the moon. And I'm going to do that with the Whisper White Craft Ink. Right about there. Do it. One more time. It's just didn't get quite bright enough. Might do it more than one more time. There we go. Now it's time to put the card together. We'll be gluing our landscape scene onto the base of black square. And then gluing that on the front of the Whisper White cardstock. I am going to stamp some trees on the inside of the card. Grab my old olive again. There they are. If you can see my trees on the inside. But then I'm not going to fold the card because we are going to stamp a sentiment. But I need to clean up the trees. My stamps away and pick out what sentiment we plan to use with that. I 
think I'm going to use um, Friends Make the Good Times Better. Make sure that will fit in that spot. Yes, it will. And then I'm going to put in the hard times easier on the inside. The sample card used the sentiment, every little kindness makes the world brighter. And so you could really use whatever you want because there is also the sentiment that love never gives up, which is a great one. Make sure you always check your sentiment so you know you're stamping right side up. Because I am notorious for stamping things upside down and having to create, do it over or create something to cover up. Flip the paper over. Okay, and then we're going to finish up our card by using some rhinestones to add some decoration on the front. And I'm thinking about putting a few. There is only one on the sample card, but I like to put things in groups of I don't know, three, five. So, I don't know what to think about that, but there are the three little rhinestones. There is today's finished card. Every card you do is going to be different than the last. And I love this set because it's just like making a watercolor painting and it takes a whole lot less time than let's say you were following the Bob Ross technique. So I made my own watercolor landscape card. Make sure you head on over to Angel Stamps and go check out the online annual catalog launch party make sure you get your entry in the um i'm losing my mind in the scavenger hunt is one way to earn tickets for the door prize placing an order is another way joining my team there are lots of ways to Earn some tickets for the door prize, and you can win your very own paper share. So check out all the details about that. And next Thursday, I will be back on a regularly scheduled time, and it happens to be Flag Day. So we will be making... A flag inspired card using the watercolor stamp set. So I will um, talk to you later. Bye.